It's food o'clock on Real L Craft Beer. Today we're going to be taking a look at some Little Deluxe Ultimate 6 ounce chili burgers. And they've been described as exceptionally succulent burgers with spicy chili and cayenne pepper seasoning. So they go in the grill for 25 to 30 minutes. That's quite a long time, but they are frozen. So let's see what they look like. Oh, look at the size on these. I do like a chili burger. I like the fact that Little are making chili burgers. Look at that. On the grill then. There we are. Midway then on the burger. Let's... Get out the grill. Look at that! Give it a spin. Another 10 minutes, that'll be done. Okay, burger's done. Let's turn the grill off. Oh, look at that! Now, can I magically not? I'm going to grab it by that, like that. Oh, burn my hand. There we go. Chuck that there and then show you. There's the burger. That looks fabulous. Bread roll. I picked up. Um, didn't pick up the bread roll in Lidl, incidentally. Um, just because I bought these burgers about a week or two ago. I just haven't had time to review them, so um, spun round Tesco and picked up some bread rolls. So, without further ado, it's a lovely looking burger, six ounce. And you can see the chilli, you can see the bits of chilli in it. Should be really good. And I got a nice... While I was waiting for the burger to cook, I knocked a couple of reviews out, so I got a nice pale ale to... Mm. ...to polish off while I eat the burger. Beer and a burger. Nothing better. It's 29 degrees out there today. It's boiling. Probably more than that. It's probably about 31. So it's nice to have a cold beer and a burger for lunch. Here we go. Mm. Come on, chili. Come on, chili. You can do the business. First bite. Little bit of chili. Beef is nice and succulent. Goes really well with the bread roll. Ah! Second bite. Bit more of a chilli kick. I'm always on the side of if you're going to write chilli burger or chilli sausage or whatever chilli on your product, then it really needs to have a chilli kick. And thankfully, mm, this has got a bit of a chilli kick. I mean, it's nothing like Iceland's Carolina Reaper burgers, which are like insane hot. I really enjoyed them, by the way. But there's, you can see the little speckles of chilli in the burger you can feel it the more you the more you're eating it the more it's building a nice chili burn is coming um but the the bread is absolutely fantastic the burger itself the meat is really it's good cuts of beef no lumps of fat to be seen here i mean i think it's a generational thing 
<coughs> as a kid growing up, you could buy a proper cheap burger. You could probably still buy them, but they've just managed to hide the way of the fat a little bit better these days. Um, but you would bite into like all sorts, like toenails and everything when I was a kid. Big lumps of bone. You you bite into anything with a cheap burger as a kid. So you'd always you'd always even though it's like I'm 41 years of age now. We're 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 miles away from that world of of growing up eating burgers, cheap burgers with bones in. It's still weary. It never leaves you. Mmm. That is good. That is really good quality. Really filling burger as well. This is going to do me the rest of the day. Yeah, so basically, well done, Diddle. The danger, I suppose, is, okay, I love chilli. <clears throat> but there's people starting off on their chilli journey and they don't want nothing too crazy because in Lidl's eyes, they won't return. They won't return to buy a chilli burger. They may not return to Lidl again if, if um, the chilli burger they bought thought was a little bit mild, it's burnt their face off, you know? So Lidl have that in mind as well. They have to think to themselves, well, it's got to be right in the middle. Warm enough for the chilli lovers, cool enough to, you know, as to not scare people away. Mmm. I'm really happy with that. If that was served to me in a restaurant with all the mayos and the sauces and... Ah! Is it too late? Ah, damn! Reminded me I picked up a, a burger sauce so I wanted to to show you, share with you, but never mind, we can do that. I got more burgers in the freezer. I bought some Heinz burger sauce to show you. That's good. And the beer is a bad co, like IPA style, pale ale style beer at 5.2%. It's really drinkable. Really drinkable. And it's from Asda. <laughs> so the burger is from Lidl, the rolls are from Tesco, and the beer is from Asda. Uh, you can tell I'm not a loyal, loyal to one supermarket, can you? Mmm. That is terrific. That burger is terrific. I'm, I'm eating it now. I'm eating. I nearly finished it now, and the, the spice burn is really, really picking up. Got a nice spicy chili kick to it. Okay, so we're nearly there to rate it. <clears throat> Tesco bread roll, fantastic. I love the floury bread rolls they do in Tesco. Mind you, you can't go you can't go wrong with the some of the little stores. Our Barry Little Store has got a bakery in it, and they do some cracking bread in the little bakery. Hmm. But yeah, rating for this deluxe chili burger from Little. Really, really tasty, fantastic cuts of meat, 
not a bit of gristle in sight. Enough chilli to get the old top lip going look. Sweaty top lip. But enough flavour to carry the burger. Enough of that lovely kind of beefy, juicy, steak-like flavour that, that keeps the burger going. I like that. I really like that enough to give it. That burger's a 9 out of 10. A stone the crows, 9 out of 10. Thanks for watching. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers.